All right, it's a bit colder today, it's about six degrees, and obviously I'm in my t-shirt as always. Uh, I'm hoping that if I walk around, I'll stay warm. Anyway, I'm also hoping that the weather's gonna hold out and I can be able to, I'll be able to uh, get to this statue. I wanna explore this, um, there's apparently this statue of something or other down the valley. I saw it on Instagram and I'm gonna go and check it out. So I need to get a bus and also tie my shoelace up. tell this is the closest stuff I can get and I think the statue oh I can see it I can see it actually it's right over there probably can't see it so I need to figure out how to get up there I think there is a bridge so I need to cross this river first and foremost which is somewhere here so let's go on a little adventure find this statue it's a statue of Christ the Redeemer much like the one in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil but not as big and also not as impressive. However, it's still worth me going to find it. So let's cross this. Let's cross this river. I think this is where I was last time when I went to Le Escalade, which is the climbing place, which is just down here. But there's a big river here. So first, let's get down this. Oh, that was another statue then some sort of pillar for the road right so the plan is to find the statue I've actually brought wet weather gear with me I'm hoping I won't have to use it because it's not very comfortable and also I'd have to pack away the camera and uh, you won't be able to hear me if I vlog with the waterproof uh, mode on the camera oh, wow it's actually I can see my breath today but I don't feel very cold I guess because I'm moving around Okay, so that looks like about, you can see the statue there, it looks like about a 20 minute walk. Maybe, no, maybe half an hour, it's quite high up, isn't it? I get some weird looks because everyone else here is wearing like long trousers and hoodies and ski jackets and everything like this. And I'm, I'm here in a, a very, very thin shirt and shorts. And uh, the reason for that is that I feel every time I go on a hike and I wear look like and I wear warm clothes I'm always overheat and sweat and feel awful whereas if I wear shorts and a shirt not only does it motivate me to keep hiking and hike faster but also it means that I'll naturally heat up as I start exercising cute little railway with a small cabin <laughs> A beautiful day to hike in the woods. It's just been raining and uh, it's just everything feels so fresh. All right so the hit here's where we are and we need to go 35 minutes it's gonna be a long one I think that way to the statue and yeah that's it. it hasn't rained yet. All right so we're in the woods now it's a very damp day in the woods but it's not raining and I think we should be able to make, make it to the top, judging by how tired I am, the elevation, and how far away it is, about 25 minutes. So, yeah, but it's not as intense as the other hike I did. It's just obviously an uphill hike, it's hard, but it's not as bad. It's not, it's not under the sun, so I at least have some shade. 
and I'm not overheating either, so this is good. I'm making good time. Also, <clears throat> also the paths are actually really good. Nice and open, I don't have to worry about snakes or anything. However, this, this is not helpful at all. I don't know which path to take. <laughs> They're not labelled. All right. What a beautiful day for a hike. Well, a hike in the woods at least, not in the sun. So it's actually my last day today. Tomorrow I get the bus back to Geneva. However, I've got a lot of things packed in for today. I'm gonna to go and see this, this statue up here. I'm gonna see a crystal museum and possibly go climbing as well in the bouldering center. So it's not like I'm wasting it, even with the weather. Right, now this is saying there are two ways to this statue. We can either go this way or we can go up through the woods. I'm gonna actually take this way because it will be less slippery. Well, the forest is silent. You can just about hear the road in the background because we're quite close to the road, I guess. It's not a very intense hike. It's not far away. Wow, look at that weird tree, guys. There's bubbles all over the bottom of it. How strange. We're going through a cloud right now. You can see the mist. <laughs> very interesting. Ten minutes away. We're on the straight and narrow now. Oh yes. I wonder what's done that. <laughs> okay. So, we shouldn't be f much further. Well, it's not as hard as the other hike I did. It's just an uphill walk, essentially. I think the other one was so hard because I was walking in the sun and I hadn't really had any rest. However, this time I've been resting and had a day off and it's made such a difference. Because although I'm out of breath, my legs don't feel tired, my feet don't feel blistered, and I feel like I could, I could carry on. I think we're there. Oh wait, no, it's just a house. Imagine how insane your leg muscles would be if you lived here and you just you had to walk that trail every day. I mean, my legs are feeling pumped right now. <laughs> I wonder what this building's for though. Oh, we're there. <laughs> it was hidden. It was hidden behind the trees. Okay. Whew. All right. Well, finally made it. I don't think we can go in here. Ah, some information. Oh, it's, in, it's in French. Someone comment what, what that means. Let me know. Let's have a look at the view. Wow. What an amazing view. Okay. So I think I walked from there, because that must be the bridge I crossed. So then I've got to walk all the way down the zigzags, down to there. Okay. I'll have a sit down and have some water. That's a shame. You can't really see the front of it very well. There's nowhere to stand here where I can actually see the front very well, but you can see this. It's pretty cool. Shall I climb it? 
No, there's not really anything to hold on to. All right. Well, I guess that's uh, that's today done. Well, at least this video is done. So signing off. See you later, guys.